Since this year commemorates the 60th anniversary of Marvel's Avengers, I thought it would be the perfect time to count down our top 10 Marvel Legends Avengers action figures. Yet there are a hell of a lot of Marvel Legends to choose from, so I had to establish a couple of ground rules before compiling this list. Rule number one, only one entry per character. For example, it would be easy for me to select multiple Incredible Hulk action figures, but that would not be fair on the other Avengers characters. And rule number two, each figure has to be judged based on the quality of the toy itself and not on the significance of the character they represent. For example, I'm not going to choose an action figure just because they were a founding member of the Avengers if they've never had an action figure worthy of entry on this list. I'm looking at you, Ant-Man. Does anyone have any orange slices? These two rules also help me to narrow down this top 10 list because at this point, over 90 different Marvel characters have been Avengers at one time or another, and I didn't want to make a video that was two hours long. Now without further ado, it's time for the Avengers to assemble. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. And kicking us off in the number 10 slot is Hawkeye. I'm not so sure I want to be part of a team I have to rescue every week. Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye, is the world's greatest marksman. And for this entry, I went with the recently released Avengers 60th Anniversary Hawkeye that came packed in with the Sky Cycle. While the Sky Cycle is a really frustrating toy that is let down massively by the lack of any foot pegs, this Hawkeye figure is the most definitive comic version of the character that we've received so far. The colour scheme is accurate, he comes on a completely pinless body, and he is accessorised with his bow, arrow and quiver. Yet like all Marvel Legends figures, this version of Hawkeye is not perfect. He cannot effectively hold his arrow in the aim unless you take a razor and cut a split between his fingers. His soft good skirt looks weird, and the face sculpt makes him look really bored. But until Hasbro offer a superior version, this is the best Marvel Legends Hawkeye that you can add to your collection. Coming in at number 9 is the retro carded Falcon from 2022. While this version of Falcon is adorned in the correct colour scheme, the designers didn't capture the most classic look of his costume that featured an exposed chest area, yet this is still a solid entry. This action figure includes two piece wing components, with one section attached to the bicep and the other connected to the forearm. This allows the wings to be posed in multiple different ways that can really change up the look of your display. Sometimes when a figure is weighed down by heavy accessories such as a vinyl cape, or in this case a pair of wings, the character can struggle to stand up on a shelf without the support of a display stand. But thanks to a chunky pair of sculpted on boots, this figure doesn't have that problem. This edition of Sam Wilson also comes with alternate hands. He has a pair of fists for punching villains, and a pair of open palmed hands that are most effective in flying poses but he might have ranked a little higher on this list if Hasbro had bothered to issue him with a Red Wing accessory. Securing the number 8 slot on this list, we have the Marvel 80th Anniversary Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Being released in 2019, this version of Iron Man obviously features exposed pins on the joints, because Hasbro wasn't really making pinless bodies back then, yet he earns massive props for being painted in a metallic gold which in my opinion is far superior to the lazy yellow and red version that was produced for the Marvel Legends 20th anniversary range. This figure comes with two different versions of Iron Man's helmet, and I really like it when Hasbro also offers an alternate unmasked head for our helmeted heroes, with this being the best version of Tony Stark that we have received so far. I can live without the goofy oversized blast effects, but the inclusion of an alternate repulsor blast hand is a nice touch. At lucky number seven, we have King T'Challa himself. The Black Panther. Wakanda forever! For this character, I went with the classic comic version from the Yatuma Builder Figure Wave, as it features a pretty decent sculpt on a newer pinless body. As with most Marvel Legends action figures, though, this Black Panther is severely lacking in the accessory department, but he does at least come included with a pair of fists, as well as a pair of open clawed hands for putting scratches on Cap's vibranium shield. I like the fact that the sculpting of the cape's collar doesn't impede the figure's neck articulation, while also being small enough and light enough to not affect the character's ability to stand on a display shelf. There have been quite a few good versions of Black Panther released over the years, but for my money, this one is the best. Number 6 on the list of the best Marvel Legends Avengers figures is Doctor Strange. If you can face your fears, they will have no power over you. This was an easy pick for me as I went for the Walmart exclusive version of Doctor Strange, and I just loved the look of this figure with its eye-catching colour scheme and bountiful selection of accessories. 
This figure comes with three different heads, the first of which is his regular head that hints at the character's Bronze Age comic design. The second head has Doctor Strange with eyes closed, seemingly in deep concentration, and this is the one that I like to display on my shelf. The third head represents a version of the character when he wore a blue mask, but this is a pretty deep cut that I doubt many people will use on this figure. Two magical accessories are also included, with one being the iconic Wand of Watoom, and the other being the Axe of Angorumbus, and it makes a really nice change to have such items included with a Marvel Legends action figure. This version of Strange also comes with two pairs of hands. We have a gripping hand and fist combo, so Strange can hold the axe or wield the wand while throwing a punch, as well as a pair of spell casting hands, onto which you can attach the magic effect accessories that also come included with this figure. He does lose a few points for having single jointed elbows and exposed pins at the knees, but overall this is a fun figure that comes with more accessories than what is usually included in an entire Marvel Legends wave. At number 5 we have my all time favourite superhero character, the Incredible Hulk. What in blazes is that? This was a tough choice for me as there have been some really good Marvel Legends Hulk figures released over the years. I like the recent one that was released as part of the Avengers 60th anniversary wave that also came with the first ever comic version of Bruce Banner. Yeah, Banner's powerful and useful too. Is he though? Yet for me, I couldn't choose a grey Hulk for this list as my mind's eye version of Hulk is always green. I was tempted to go with the Marvel Legends 20th anniversary Incredible Hulk as this figure came with alternate hands and an alternate head, but the shade of green used on his skin is a little off. So even though it didn't have the extra head or extra hand options, I went with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Hulk from 2019, with this example being very kindly donated to the channel by my buddy Sal at Two Cents Toys. This version comes with a crush pipe accessory, and I enjoy this head sculpt for the character. I also adore the vibrant green colour used on his skin, as it really makes this action figure stand out on a display shelf. Some extra paint taps and a bit of wash on his pants wouldn't go astray, but this is still a really good, if somewhat hard to find version of the character. Clocking in at number 4 is the first appearance Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. Some days it feels good being your friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. For last year's 60 Amazing Years of Spider-Man, we were offered more action figure versions of the character than we could shoot a web at, and they were all really decent efforts. While some people will prefer the Renew Your Vows version of Spider-Man because it came with toe articulation that was invented by Shardimus Prime, my favourite of the bunch is the first appearance Spidey, who made his comic book debut in Amazing Fantasy issue 15 in 1962. This all new completely pinless body has wonderful paint applications and a terrific range of posability. The web wing accessories constantly fall off when you're trying to pose the figure, so you're better off throwing them into your parts bin, but the multiple hand options are extremely welcome. We have fists, gripping hands, wall crawling hands and web shooting hands, giving collectors a wide variety of display options. I also really like the smaller stature of this figure compared to the others in the line, as Spider-Man is a teenager and he should be much shorter than characters like Captain America and Captain Britain. In my humble opinion this is the best Marvel Legends version of Spider-Man that we've received to date, and a truly amazing action figure. As we get closer to the top slot, the number 3 entry is the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Captain America. I could do this all day. For a few years there, I was more than content with my 80th Anniversary Captain America, but sometimes you just don't realise how much better a figure can be until it's actually produced. And once the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary figure arrived, the previous version became like a ginger stepchild that no one wanted to play with anymore. The first thing that really stands out on this figure is the more vibrant colour scheme. That looks truly stunning, and here Cap comes packed in with a whole host of accessories. We have multiple hands including fists, hands with splayed out fingers, a saluting hand, and finally this hand so Cap can point out all the faults on the 80th anniversary version. Naturally this Captain America comes with his signature shield, yet the inclusion of the harness he uses to carry his shield on his back is a welcome addition that was missing from the earlier version. Cap Shield also has a variety of plug-in effects including an electricity effect, a slashing effect and a bullet deflection effect. And while many collectors have complained about the holes left in the shield when the effects are not plugged in, it doesn't bother me very much as I simply display this figure with the ricochet effects in place. Where the 80th anniversary version came with two heads, both of these were masked versions of the character. Yet for the 20th anniversary release we were gifted with a masked Captain America head and a really nicely sculpted unmasked version of Steve Rogers, 
making this figure the superior offering, in my opinion. Taking the number two spot on this top 10 list is the 80th anniversary version of Thor. Ah! I knew he thought it was a good plan! At the time of release, the Marvel Legends 80th anniversary wave was the pinnacle in terms of design evolution for these action figures, and Thor was the best of that lineup. Wonderfully sculpted, brilliantly coloured and imposing in stature, this is the figure that first piqued my interest in Marvel Legends. His stoic looking face is a great representation of the God of Thunder, and I can forgive the pin joints since Hasbro wasn't making anything pinless back in 2019. This figure does however have ball jointed torso articulation, which is far superior to the typical ab crunch design that we still receive on Marvel Legends action figures to this very day. Compared to other 80th anniversary offerings, Thor has few accessories, but makes up for that with his sheer size. We have one swappable hand, so his left arm either has a fist or a posed out hand. And of course we have Mjolnir, and this accessory is absolutely fantastic. Extremely well detailed and painted, I do think the handle could have been a bit longer, but the fact that the hammer is inscribed with a spell is the chef's kiss to this incredible design. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Although the cape is so heavy that it makes this figure difficult to stand unaided, it is still very nicely done and caps off the second best Marvel Legends action figure ever made. Now before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. First up we have the retro carded war machine from 2022, and I enjoy this figure due to the really fun blast effects that make it look like his cannon is firing and small rockets are actually being deployed from his shoulder mounted launcher. Next we have Ultron from the Cassie Lang Builder figure wave, and I didn't rank him on this list because he's a villain and not actually an Avenger, yet all our heroes need someone to fight, and this version of Ultron is the perfect adversary. And the final honourable mention goes to this retro version of Wasp, who might have made the list if it weren't for the fact that she hasn't been released yet, and you'll have to wait until 2024 before adding this version of Janet Van Dyne to your collection. And so coming in at number one is the best Marvel Legends Avenger action figure of all time, Black Widow. Let me put you on hold. There's probably a fair bit of recency bias at play here, but this 60th anniversary release of Black Widow is a stunning action figure that I just can't stop playing with. Produced on an all new highly articulated pinless body, this figure doesn't suffer the gummy joints that plague so many other Marvel Legends, especially the females. This version of Natasha Romanoff also comes back in with a boatload of accessories, including three different heads. And let's be honest, who doesn't want some extra Black Widow head? Hey fellas. I'm not really a fan of the head that comes with the street hooker hairstyle, yet this is the great thing about receiving different options. We can each pick and choose the way we want to display our figures. I prefer this more stern looking face sculpt, but the long hair really limits her neck articulation. So for more dynamic posing options, you might want to go with the short hair head although I don't know how she shoots accurately with her fringe in front of her eye. Speaking of shooting, this Black Widow comes with three pairs of wrist launchers, a plane pair, a firing pair, and the coolest of the bunch, the post-firing launchers that have smoke effects. Natasha also packs a pair of pistols, one with a silencer and one without, and both of these weapons can be fitted with either blast effects or smoke effects. Where the 80th anniversary was the pinnacle of Legends figures at that time, this 60th anniversary Black Widow is the new peak in terms of design and posability, at least for female figures. And she'll be definitely earning a place on my top 10 best figures of 2023 list, but for right now she also rightfully earns the number one place as the best Marvel Legends Avenger figure made so far. So that's our list of the top 10 best Marvel Legends Avengers action figures. Did you agree with our list? Let me know in the comments below, and also let me know what your choices would have been if they were different to mine. I'm Tony from Analog Toys, and I'll see you in the next video.